This is the story of the building of the Australian cruiser tank. It begins when scrap iron is fed into electric furnaces to emerge a white-hot liquid ready to be poured into prepared moulds which become the hull or the turret of the tank. This one-piece casting reduces man-hours on the job considerably and adds immeasurably to the strength of the vehicle. It's interesting to note that Australia pioneered the principle of tank hulls being cast in one piece, a principle which has since been adopted by other Allied nations. The next stage is trimming away all superfluous metal and grinding down all rough edges by means of powerful machines. These pictures give a pretty fair idea of the enormously intricate engineering feats that go into the production of these machines, which have become the spearhead of modern mobile warfare. Finally, tanks climb a special ramp out of the factory to be turned over immediately to waiting test pilots, highly trained army men who put their vehicles through their paces on the testing ground hard by. And what paces they put them through. These 28 tons of trouble for the Japanese are made to do everything but turn back somersaults. The testing has got to be rigorous, for it is necessary to discover faults on the testing ground rather than in the face of the enemy. <laughs> 